welcome to Drummard Farm episode 6 with me, Mr. Silly P. It was a pretty busy night, let's be honest. New field, potatoes, seeded, some contracting work, fertilising, spraying done. It's early-ish in the morning now and I've got a few jobs to do. Now, I'm actually sat in the middle of a field at the moment between, well it's field 26. I was mowing this the other day and noticed something unusual and then Alien Jim messaged me to point out what I'd already realised, but at the time, because I'd mowed most of the field, I couldn't show you. But now the fields grow back, I could. Now, you might know this already, and if you've seen it, fine. But, here's the thing. I'm sitting in the field, and there's flowers growing across the field, which is wonderful. And then when you pan out, and up, it's actually a Stars and Stripes flag across the field. Which, considering it's an Irish map, is quite unusual and interesting. I have had a quick whiz round and I haven't come across any other flags of any other countries knocking about in the fields anywhere but uh, it's an interesting one so there we go. Stars and Stripes in the middle of the field. Just one of those interesting little tidbits of information. Anyway that said I've got stuff to do so moving swiftly on. I also had a comment left by Model Farmer 6710 about silage bales um, and he said in that on his farm in the BGA he put a silage bale into the BGA now I've always found whatever price you're getting for the bales you put them either in the bale sell point or the BGA you get the same for a bale he said that when he put a bale into the BGA on here he got 4,000 for it so I'm 
interested to see whether that's the case. I have made a bail. What I'm going to do now is sort out, because I can't remember where I put the uh, the front loader attachment for the fence, um, where that's gone, in all honesty, uh, which I'm going to try and find. My other option might be to bring over the Kramer, which I might do. That might just be easier. I'll do that. And we'll stick one in and see. My silage is ready. It's fermented and ready to be used. I am leasing a few bits of equipment to deal with that. That's why I did the contracting last night, so that when I lease the bits of equipment, it's not actually costing me any money off my top line, if that kind of makes sense. Um, but here's my problem with that. When I scroll across, the price for silage started to drop overnight. It was at 2,300 and something, and it is falling. So I kind of need to get on the case with that pretty quickly. So I'm going to whiz back over to Drummard, uh arable and there's my new field there we go in daylight that i plowed out last night potatoes in that as well um, and i'm going to go and grab the kramer that's going to be quicker my fence is up at the store because i need to at least a couple of bits of equipment and bring some bits back so uh, i will go and do that and then we'll check out this silage bale situation i am back here at drumard farm and i've got the kramer i've got the silage bale on the front the one i made I'm also at the silage pit, which is ready, 100% fermented, so open the silo. So that's going to be ready for doing what I want to do. I have leased the JCB, I always get this wrong, 435? Yep, the 435S, this time with a silage fork. When I did this on law folds, I used a bucket. I'm going to do it with the silage fork. The bucket takes 11,400 and something litres if you get the big universal bucket, the mod. This one takes 10,000, so not much difference, but I thought I'd use the in-game. It's a silage fork, that's what it's designed for. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to do a bit of fiddling around with this and try and pile it all up at one end. Then use conveyor belts like I have done before. Now here's my concern. Normally when you put something into here, on FS15, every hour the price would change, but only fluctuate by a little bit. On FS17, it can fluctuate minute by minute, depending on what you're selling, how much you put in, and that kind of thing. So on law folds, when I was selling silage, as long as you kept a continual flow of silage going into the BGA, into the digester, you got the price that it said it was at. In that case, I think it was 1,600 and something I was on at that point. If it falters or stops at any point, the price plummets and then there's a new price obviously and you'll get wherever the new price is so what I've got to look at now is if I put this bale in will the price drop or will it just give me a price for a bale if I get a fork of this just one fork and put it in the price will alter so what I've got to look at is do I set up the conveyor belts and just hope I can get a continual flow because as you can see on here the price is dropping, still dropping. I mean, it's at 1,950, that's an amazing price. Or 60, that might say, again, my eyesight, appalling. Uh, 1,960, it says. And that is falling. That's a very, very good price, but it was was it was it a lot better. Um, so, first things first, and let's see what I get for this bail. I'm going to sell it, see what I get. No, I'm assuming it's going to be the same price, but I really don't know. Yeah, 1,764. So, no difference in price is what I thought. I did ask the question when the comment was made, was the person playing on easy or hard? Because it might be if they're on easy, they're getting a different price. But there you go, I got the same price for that bale. Now my concern is, has the price dropped by one pound, which is dropping anyway. So selling the bale there has made no difference. And the bale was worth no more than it was if I sell it anywhere else. So my sudden joy of thinking, oh, actually, I could make a load of money selling bales at the BGA, absolutely irrelevant, not going to make any difference whatsoever, which is mildly frustrating, but not the end of the world. So, for the next test, okay. the price is still dropping. Uh, it's 1,957 now. So, what I will do open that out. I'm going to take one scoop and sell it and I think the price will drop. That gate's going to go bonkers, I'm going to be backwards and forwards and that's going to be doing all sorts of nonsense isn't it? So let's fill this up. Come on. Come on, 
Let's not get more than that in there, surely. It's supposed to be 10,000. That'll do. Okay, so let's see what we get then. And also, if it suddenly plummets, and I think it will, which is going to be a bit of an issue for selling the rest, but we'll see how we go. Okay, let's see what we get. Nineteen thousand five hundred and thirty one for one forkful. It's a ten thousand litre fork, to be fair, it's not a small fork. So now we check the price and it's dropped a chunk. One thousand nine hundred and forty eight. So it has dropped quite a bit. I don't like that red arrow being there, that's really annoying. Um, I don't know what the base level is going to be. I'm pretty sure when I started playing the game, and I, I did my first look map tour, and I said it was about 1,700 and something standard, which was already higher than it had been on law folds. I don't know if it's going to drop, drop much below that. Uh, we will see. Hopefully not too much below that. I've got about 500,000 litres in here to sell. So uh, we should make a tidy bit of money on this, but I think I'm going to have to go for the silage... Um, silaging using the conveyor belts again but the first thing I'm going to do though is um, I'm going to try and pile a load of this up at one end so I'm going to try and get it all at one end so it's much much easier to deal with um, which this isn't going to like is it very much but let's see how we get on there we go that's what I need to do Just there we go so we're open completely right so what I'm going to do is and it's going to take a little while is keep piling this up towards one end which is what I did before on um, law folds but I found on this one when I started to com uh, com compact everything it just worked a lot better keeping it all level which surprised me I didn't think it would um, so what I've got to try and do now and this really is going to take a while is start trying to dump it all at one end because I can't afford for that to um, to slow down at any point if I am using the conveyor belts, but this is going to take ages, isn't it? Um, let's have another check, actually. I might just do a scoop at a time, I think. I don't know. See how this works out. Okay, so I'm up at the store, um, and I am going to lease... I say lease, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to buy one of the Lizard pickups uh, ones, because I'm going to use it anyway, for 5,000. Um, and then the uh, the other one, the next one, the SL8022 Quantum, I'm going to lease. Because um, after I've done this, I'm not sure I'm going to use it again. It's only 960 to lease it. With the um, wheel loader, the JCB435 with the silage fork, whatever you want to call it, it only came in at about 15,000, just over 15,000 to lease that, so it hasn't cost me a huge amount of money. So what I'm going to do now is transport these over, um, and I can get on with selling that silage. That can be kind of chugging away. I'm going to need to use the JCB um, to keep piling on because I don't want that price to drop. I need to keep that that price up. So, like I did on law folds, a lot of that's going to be done off screen. You won't need to see that. I will set it off and going, and then the rest I will do off screen. So that's the plan at the moment. I'll get this over. I'll get the uh, the quantum conveyor belt over and set up, and then we can get on with selling that silage. Um, I'm not going to do an entire episode on selling that silage. It's going to be really kind of showing you starting off. I've done it on law folds. If you want to see an episode on selling that silage, it'll be on there. I'm going to use this naughty little shortcut through. You don't need to see this bit. Now what I'm trying to do now is line this up perfectly so when this starts, it just cracks straight on without there being an issue um, at all with it faltering. So I'm thinking I might need to extend that a little bit more. Maybe drop it down a bit. I'm trying to get this just right is actually proving harder than I thought it was going to be. Hold your horses. Mm -hmm. 
button. Right, let's see how we get on. And we are off. And we will be selling. There we go, right, we have started. So that's off, that pole's decreasing. Up one conveyor belt, up the next. Okay, this is rather terrifying. Now I need to crack on then, get into the JCB and start getting this shovel to the other end so it doesn't falter at any point. That's what I'm hoping for. We've just passed 84,000 litres left in here and we're still getting, let's have a look, we're still getting 1,722. So it has dropped way down when it started, the good price was 2,300, dropped to 1,900 and something. This is still higher than it was on Lawfold on a good price. So we're on 920,000 and still climbing, which means with what's left in here, we're easily going to hit a million. Obviously we didn't make a million on the side because we already had a hundred and something thousand in the bank, but I only had 500,000 litres, just over 500,000 litres of silage in here. So that time I spent at the start cutting the grass and it took a while, it has more than paid off. I haven't touched the gold nuggets and I'm still going to be on a million or thereabouts. So it just goes to show you can you can make a good bit of money without doing the nuggets. If I went into the nuggets now, I'm going to be sitting on two million. I can buy all the equipment I want, fields I want, that kind of stuff. Now, like I said before, I will buy equipment as I need it. Probably going to get a vehicle shelter, probably going to get the potato or the root crop storage shelter. It's a few odds and ends I do want to get. Maybe, maybe upgrade or get another tractor. Um, I do want to get the Tempo Cedar so I can do sunflowers and sugar beet and maize or corn, whatever you want to call it. So there's a few things I do want to get. I haven't got any animals yet, which obviously I'm going to want to do. Um, so this is absolutely paying off. Worth every minute of time it took to put grass or chaff into this silo absolutely worth it now had the price had it been when I started selling the price was at 2300 I would have made even more an absolute killing on this and because it wasn't stable the price was dropping and still is had not, there not been a red arrow there it probably would have sat at the same price for quite a while uh, I'm looking at wood chipping so I'm probably gonna buy a Mm, Scorpion King maybe I don't know I might lease that want to get a lorry want to get a trailer so yeah a few bits and bobs but the money's still climbing we are nearly there nearly a million and there we go one million from a bit of contracting and the silaging we've done it we've hit a million without touching the gold nuggets Quite happy about that. Using this different implement as well, I normally use a bucket. The silage fork has worked out really, really well. I like this. And still going, so I don't think I'm gonna need to fiddle around with this too much now. I think it'll probably sort itself out. Um, so yeah, we've hit a million. 
So I'm thinking this has worked out so far, about 800 and something thousand we've got for this. Because we had a hundred and something already, so... Pff, yeah. Wow. It does mean we can start the ball rolling now. Well, we started the ball rolling, but... We can really get some momentum now. With the things we need. Close that up. Put that down. Turn that off. Awesome. Is it going to miss this bit? Probably. That's moved. How's that moved? So let's have a quick look at the price. Um, yeah, 1,600 or something. So it has continued dropping, but still realistically a fantastic price. These two, oh, and that's mine, isn't it? I bought that. Bought that. That will need to go back. So will the wheel loader. If I do decide to fill this bunker up again, I might buy one. Uh, we'll see how we get on. But uh, not a bad day's work, I have to say. It's been busy. We've got a lot done. We've made a lot of money. Fun times ahead. Buying stuff. that as they say is that that's pretty good that was the second well second and third lot of income the first one I think came out of 200,000 that was 717,000 so yeah that was incredible but we are done that's all the silage bunker silo is now empty silage sold price has absolutely dropped through the floor now once that finished selling it was on one six, it just dropped to one three, uh, and it's in now in the red. So we have destroyed the price of silage for the time being. I'm sure it will recover at some point. That said, the wood chipping price is on the rise. So now I've got a bit of money, maybe wood chipping will be on the cards. We shall see. Right, it's going to be a case of getting all this equipment put away and moved and sorted out, I think. So. Let's put that down, ready for transport. Turn the engine off on that, and I can pick that up with the uh, the fence. That will need to be moved and taken back. I have got a baler, I believe, sitting here. This will need to be folded up. So, close that. Of wobble on, put that down. Just put that out of the way for the time being, and we'll sort that out. There we go. Job done. Oh, I had to have the time turned up to um, <coughs> to times five, um, only because the digester kept st stuttering. So time's gone forward quite a bit quicker than it would have done normally. But that's not the end of the world, in all honesty. Oh, I keep saying that. I've got to stop saying in all honesty. It's driving me mad. And people viewing, of course. Um, 
what I'm going to do, because I bought this, I'm going to get sheep first. That's going to be my first thing. So I'm going to put this up here to help keep this area clean. Um, just about there, which I'll sort out when I actually get the sheep, but that'll be up here ready. Uh, first thing I want to do, well, first thing, that was the first thing. The second thing I want to do is going to be up here. Now, I did think about doing it down in the grass field, but I'm going to need the grass for various different things. So up here is going to be a couple of... a couple of things. I think is the best way to describe it. Now, I'm going to put up here... for um, root crops, because I'm intending doing a lot more sugar beet and potatoes on this farm. I'm going to put the... Um, the placeable... If I can find it. I'm going to do those as well, actually. Because I haven't got any on Drumard Farm. They're over on the Arable. Did I not enable it? I didn't enable it. Okay, uh, well that's not going to be able to do then. I'm going to do the root crop storage barn, whatever you want to call it. But I also want a vehicle shelter. I did think about the stone one, not stone one, but this one because you can drive through it. But I think I thought about maybe that one. That's way too big. That's just it's a lot of money as well. I know there are loads of different ones available in mods, but I just thought I'd use an in-game one. Have a look at this. See what this looks like first. I bet the tracks in the way, isn't it? Hmm. Should get a few bits of equipment under that. It's probably about where I'd want it as well. Just going to put that up here, and then over to the other side have the uh, root crop storage. All right, straighten up a little bit. Yep, first purchase. Excellent. So I can get a few bits of machinery that are down the hill that I was trying to work out where to put them. They can come up here. So first purchase. Excellent. Next thing to do then is you know what, I'm just going to get some sheep. Why not? Let's start off with livestock. I'm going to pay the fee to have them delivered because uh, to get enough uh, I'll be backwards and forwards with the trailer all day. So, let's get a load of sheep. I'll start off with 50 I think. Yep, 50. We go. We have sheep. Which means I now need to fill up the water container. The aquatrans. And I'm going to need to cut some more grass. I've got the repex down the hill, the loading wagon. Um, but it's empty, so I need to get some feet for these animals. So this is turning out to be quite a busy episode. With the work I did overnight, then selling the silage, and then obviously now buying the sheep, I'm going to have to feed them and water them. So, uh, find where I put the Aquatrans. I think it's down in the yard. It should just be down here. Yep. And then find where the water fill point is, actually. It's one of those things. I'm sure I did it when I did the, uh, the map tour, it's probably just up there. Um, but I can't remember off the top of my head where it is. Now the wall pallets will appear here. Um, I wasn't sure, and I did mention it on the other episode and someone posted and said that's this is where they, they, they appear. I did wonder what this box was for, I assumed it was for something, but 
So I'm quite sure what. Oh, there we go. Water just here. Looking at the fuel situation, I'd better fill up while I'm here as well. This is getting through fuel at quite a rate. I might need to check the settings because I don't know if I've got it set on normal or uh, what it's set on. I have been using them quite a lot, I suppose, backwards and forwards. I'm sure I filled this one up once already. So, off up the hill we go, um, give the water to the sheep and then I will um, go and cut some grass, collect some grass up, fill up the loading wagon, give them something to eat, probably a bit of a tidy up of the yard and move some equipment up here as I start to buy new equipment with my, my earned wealth, not acquired, I didn't do the nuggets, I earned this, and with my newly earned wealth, um, I'll uh, put that to one side there. I'm going to need somewhere to store everything, so. There we go. Just the actual bathtub fill up. There is water in it. Excellent. And that was enough. Right. I'm going to leave that there for the time being, because I can fill both and sort out some grass. That is it for this episode. Like I say, it's been a busy one. A lot going on. We've got some money. I'm just looking at the money in the top corner thinking, how am I down to 800 and something thousand? I just bought 50 sheep. That would be why. I thought... My god, I didn't buy a vehicle, what's happened? Yep, yeah, that would be the sheep. Um, that is the end of the episode. I hope you've liked it. Hope it's been informative, helpful, however you may look at it, or just plain old entertaining. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. If you should wish to donate, that would be wonderful. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.